here is the nice orange Teton Sports Celsius sleeping bag. Nothing special about it. I paid about $70 Canadian on Amazon for it after taxes and everything. Interior is nice. They have a cute little teal accent zipper here. Uh, no particular reason I got the orange one. It was a dollar cheaper than the other ones, and I thought the green one was ugly anyway. So we'll get into it. So first thing you might see is that it's fairly plush. There's a lot of filling in here. It's rated for zero degrees Fahrenheit, which I think translates to negative 19 Celsius. They even have a nice tag here to remind you. Um, so it isn't obviously rated for that. That's an extreme rating. You shouldn't need me to tell you that. Because you will freeze if you take it out in that temperature. I used it in my bedroom at about 16 degrees and I was warm. I probably wouldn't take it below 15 without adding on a layer of clothes. But I like to be really warm when I sleep, so that's just me. First annoying thing about this is this Velcro right here. It's there so that you can attach this draft tube to the bottom draft tube and then use the drawstring to wrap it around your shoulder area I guess so that the air doesn't escape. Now if I wanted that I would have bought a mummy bag and if you do plan on using that be aware that when you pull this it might get in your sleeping bag and then you end up rolling on that and then it's like stepping on a Lego only you're rolling on top of it with your shoulder and that does not feel nice. So since I don't use that, I just close this Velcro up and otherwise you'll just have Velcro stabbing you so you'll be rolling on top of that. I don't know if I mentioned the inside here is a flannel. They say flannel but it's more like a synthetic flannel. I don't know. It's obviously not a real flannel. Uh, so one cool feature is this pocket that they heavily advertised and it took me a long time to find it because I thought it was on the bottom part. So you can put your keys or your phone in there. This is the Galaxy S9 Plus and you can see fits nicely. Velcro is not easily done up. You can stretch the material and get it. Et voila! But the S9 Plus is pretty heavy to have in there. So I probably won't use that. So next I'll get a measuring tape out and I'll measure it for you. So here we have our measuring tape in there. They claim this to be 80 inches long and you see this is all the way at the bottom. We have 77 which of course doesn't quite match and they said width was 32 so let's go like that, and it's 31. Now, since it's smaller there, our inside width is going to be more like 28 and a half, maybe 29. So you lost two inches on what they claim. And if you're like me and you're six foot one, and length is kind of like in between whether you should buy the XL version or not. Well, my shoulders sit right about at the draft tube, being 6'1". So, it's, it's a tough call because sometimes it feels like it's too short, sometimes it's just perfect. I'm kind of in between there, but I'll probably keep it just based on price. Uh, that's pretty much all I got for sleeping bag itself. I guess I'll roll it up and show you what that looks like for size. 
So one thing I thought of before I roll it up, uh, it has an anti-snag zipper they advertise, uh, which is false. They have this draft tube here, which obviously stops drafts from coming in the zipper. Um, but the zipper will snag on that like 100% of the time when you're zipping it up. Undoing the zipper is easy, but you will not be able to zip this up without two hands. Also, uh, someone had mentioned in a review, there's a hole down here, which is fine if it's on its own, but if you zip two of them together, uh, you're going to have a larger hole there, and that is really going to suck for your feet in cold weather. Uh, so you'll have to like shove a piece of clothing down there or something if you're in the cold. But uh, I also wanted to mention the quality of materials. Like, it's not bad, but, I mean, it's what you'd expect. There's threads here and there. So if you're picky, I mean, obviously spend a little bit more money on one, but... Yes, there's threads coming out here and there, and it might not last you as long as a $200 sleeping bag, but what do you expect? So now I'll roll it up and show you that. So here we go, I finally got it in the bag. Took me about three tries, 15 minutes. I had to bribe it a little bit and threaten it, but we got it in there. So we have it in comparison with the MSR Elixir 4, the Vode Hike sleeping pad, and the Thermarest travel pillow. So once you finally have it in the bag, you have compression straps all the way around, and these two buckles up top to help you slim it down in size. The bag feels really good, it doesn't feel like it'll rip or anything anytime soon, so that's good. But it's pretty big, obviously not for backpacking or anything like that. So there we are. Yeah.